walking up on me, son. You can stop walking up on me. You know you can. You can stop. Hey, 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 hey. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Brother. Get down. Brother, what you doing to me, bro? Get down. Are you serious, bro? Get down. Get down. You can't tase me, bro. A Fulton County Superior judge will soon decide if a community activist can move forward with his suit against the city of South Fulton and one of their former officers after that encounter you just saw there. We first showed you that encounter back in January of 2021 when community activist Marcus Coleman drove up on a bad accident. Coleman ultimately filed suit against that officer. Fox Fox's Angelique Proctor was in court today as the judge heard from both sides. Angelique? That's right, Russ. It's hard to believe it's been since January of 2021. But community activist Marcus Coleman filed suit, saying not only was he assaulted, but that he suffered emotional distress. This video shows what happened when community activist Marcus Coleman got out of his car and asked then South Fulton police officer Solomon Muhammad why no one was directing traffic at a bad accident on Roosevelt Highway and Ricky Hill Road. The two had words and the video appears to show officer Muhammad tried to slap Coleman's cell phone from his hand. You can stop walking up on me. You know you can. You can stop. Hey, 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 hey. Get down. Get down. Get down. Brother. Coleman filed suit in federal and superior court claiming he was assaulted, wrongfully detained, and suffered emotional distress. South Fulton police suspended Solomon for three days for violating department policy. Affliction of emotional distress. Attorneys for the city of South Fulton argued Tuesday that a federal judge has ruled Coleman was legally detained. They asked Fulton County Superior Court Judge Jane Barwick to follow the federal judge's opinion. We believe that Coleman, uh, Mr. Coleman, cannot argue that he was wrongfully detained, but he cannot argue that he was the victim of assault and battery. Uh, because if he had been the victim of assault and battery, it would have qualified as excessive force, and it was the district court that determined that the amount of force used was reasonable. But attorneys for the community activists say the officer should have never detained Coleman for 20 minutes in his police cruiser. The incident was an overstep of bounds by the officer, and I'm not going to try to relitigate the facts of the matter, but I do believe that a jury should determine whether it was an intentional infliction of emotional distress. It was definitely assault and battery. It's clearly shown on the video. Now, Judge Barrick's most anticipated ruling will come in the coming days. We are live in downtown. Angelique Proctor, Fox News. All right, we'll be watching for that. Angelique, thanks so much.